here just getting a really uh, quick walk in. It's really nice out. It's a little cloudy, but it's, it's really pretty. It's perfect weather for walking. I'm actually doing Postmates today, so I told you guys I was going to take you guys with me. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm doing. So continue to watch. Stay tuned. This is your girl Tracy with Tracy's World and I'm so excited to talk to you today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, today is the day where I show you a little bit of my California hustle. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, a lot of people want to know, you know, living in California, we all know, we've all heard the stories. It is quite expensive, um, especially if this is not what you are used to. The rent is a little bit higher than you normally pay in other places. And so, yeah, it does take some adjusting <laughs> and adapting. Um, so basically for me, um, being a creative, um, I have to find means of income um, that allows me to have a somewhat flexible schedule at, this mo at the moment. Um, so I do a couple of different things. So one of the things I do is I'm a delivery driver. So I do some Postmates, Uber Eats, DoorDash, all that stuff, Grubhub. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do that. Um, I have done Ubering in the past. I was Ubering, you know, driving people around, Uber or Lyft and or Lyft. <laughs> so I was doing a little bit of both of those things for a while. I don't do Uber as much now. And then I also do what's called VIP Kids, which is an online teaching English to, to children online. The children are in China. So you get to get up early and to do what you got to do. It is getting up very early in the morning because it's on China's time. So sometimes three, four in the morning, you're teaching English. Some cute little faces. So, so that's another thing. And um, also, you know, um, I can do, you know, video editing and things like that. So occasionally I do some video editing. Some people send me videos, you edit it, send it back to them. And these are like really quick edits. <laughs> um, or I'll, you know, do some video work and actually do like some, you know, shoot something, edit it, send it out or go shoot something for someone and give them the footage or, you know, that type of thing. Um, or someone just wants photos and, um, I do not consider myself a photographer per se, but I guess, you know, I know people say you have an eye, <laughs> but I do like to take photos. So if you want a family portrait or something on the beach, then hey, I can do that and send it the digital print, uh, the digital um, files to you. So those are some of the things that I can do for my, <laughs> my California hustle. And what else did I leave anything out? I don't think so. Um, and then when I'm not doing that, I also do some of the things I'm passionate about. And I love to act. So I have, you know, done some theater, you know, it, the pay is not the best sometimes, but you, you know, you get to do what you love and also make a living off of it sometimes <laughs> or from it. Um, and that's a blessing. So I get to do that sometimes. I get to do music sometimes, which is another thing that I really love and I'm passionate about. And of course, you know, um, the other new thing that I've added, um, is stock footage. <laughs> so I naturally go out sometimes if I have a camera with me or even my phone, depending, you know, on where I'm going and whatever the, the, the situation is. Sometimes I will capture, you know, just images of nature or images of people 
or you know the sky <laughs> or whatever and people actually want that <laughs> they actually take these images they use them for their commercials for their movies for their their vlogs their tv shows whatever so um that's a new hustle <laughs> that i've added into the mix and um yeah so it's a lot right um <laughs> it seems like a lot but it takes a lot to get you know the finances that you need to do what you need to do and still sometimes I'm like what I'm gonna do you know what am I gonna do yeah so what I'm gonna do today is you guys are gonna get to go with me as I go through some of my hustles so you'll get to see me doing some postmates you'll get to see me doing some um, teaching possibly or preparing to do it um, I don't share the actual process uh, I'm sorry the actual you know lessons and all that because that is you know it's copyright and I don't want to get in trouble with the law doing that but um you know I'll share as much as I can and then I do try to do do auditions throughout the day when I can or if there's something that comes up that I see that I'm interested in so today I do have a voiceover audition so um yeah I have to do that <laughs> and sometime today as well so it's going to be a very busy day right and um I'm excited that you guys get to come along with me. So come on and check it out. Check out your girl. So guys, I'm so sorry. I was eating some candy and my tongue is like a completely different color. So you see something weird. You're like what is, why is her tongue blue? It's because I had something <laughs> before I started this video. <laughs> my bad, okay? <laughs> Anywho. Hey guys, so what I'm doing now, it's early in the morning and I am checking my schedule for VIP Kids. And VIP Kids is a platform that allows me to teach English, English as a second language. I do teach it online to children in China. And uh, basically what I do is open up my availability. Um, sometimes I do it for the week or I do it for uh, the day, uh, the day, you know, per day, like a short notice a schedule as well. So that if there are any cancellations, then, um, you know, a person can still book and I would get that class. Um, or I'll just open up my availability for the week and then go back in and change some things to short notice in case there's anyone, again, that wants to take a class with me at the last minute. So now I am in the, um, in the app, in the portal, I should say, and I'm opening up my schedule. So I'll let you guys take a look. This is basically my availability, as you can see. There's some that say short notice, there's some that says available, and then there's the expired, which is the the um, days that I had open um, prior, you know, that um, didn't book. So um, that's what I'm doing now. So now I'm just going to hop up and uh, get refreshed and get ready so that I can go ahead and teach my class and then um, I'll be back to talk to you guys. Stay tuned. So I'm sprinkling water on the fro just to get it a little bit hydrated. Yep, I gotta get the measures. my virtual classroom I do teach English um, online um, to kids in China so this is my classroom I'll give you guys a quick tour basically it's just a trifold poster board so if you if you are going to teach you definitely want to have a cool background for the kids to look at um, I have a green screen obviously behind here so I just kind of clip this poster board up I set my computer on the opposite end because it shoots for my webcam and um, I normally set a light up so that they have, you know, um, normally it's dark outside when I teach. So we need a lot of good lighting so that it can look good. And, you know, you can definitely teach in your PJs if you want. I'm actually up and ready <laughs> to move about. So I'm dressed, you know, try to throw a little some on the face <laughs> really quick. But, um, yeah, this is my classroom. I have a dry erase 
board, which sometimes I write things on letters or um, just different things. Sometimes I'll put hearts, whatever, smiley face. Obviously, as you see, my theme is the smiley face, uh, the emoji. Um, basically, what this is, is these were... Um, these were stuck in the, uh, they were round like this inside the, the birthday, I don't know what you call those, those the blowers. <laughs> um, so I took this off of the blower and then I put a piece of Velcro on the back and then I put it on here. So this is their reward system. So all of these come down and after like the first maybe two slides when they have accomplished something, I'll give them a reward, which is a happy face. <laughs> and um, basically I'll just stick it on here like this and it will fill it up throughout the lesson. Teaching hours are Beijing time, which is super early. So sometimes like as early as, I'm in LA, so it's as early as 3 a.m. sometimes. I teach my class. I do use a lot of props. I do have um, some other things. Um, I do wear this headset. This is how I communicate with them. Um, this came from Five Below. Now it's $5.55. It used to be $5, but it was $5.55. It's part of their tech uh, item so it's a little bit more than five dollars but um it works it works great and this hooks up to your computer and you this hooks up to the computer and you talk to them and it's all good just wanted to add um with vip kids you can actually make up to 22 dollars an hour um so like if you teach, teach two classes it's normally about 30 minutes each 25 minutes each um within an hour yeah it's like 22 dollars an hour so i am back I'm gonna do this so I can hear you. Oh, so I can hear me. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so I can hear me. But um, so I'm about to take a quick break right now um, from working, and I'm about to do a really quick voiceover audition. Um, I try to get in a couple of auditions a day, either for a play, a commercial, voiceover, whatever. Um, so that's what I'm about to do now. So I'm about to I'm about to hook the rest of this up, and I'm gonna do this audition really quick. And again, I can do it from my home because I have my whole setup here. So this is um, this is my mic. Uh, my headset cord is here. Um, just in case you guys are wondering, the cord goes down here. And I can hear everything. And then I just go ahead and I just, you know, it helps keep the sound in. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll um, basically uh, do this voiceover. I try to do, it, do things a few times so that... Um, well, more than once, <laughs> and choose the best take. I, I normally do it maybe like five or six times, and I'll choose the best take, and then um, send it on over and see what happens. So uh, that is what is about to happen right now. So I'm gonna grab the script. Sorry, I'm a little puffy. I'm a little bit tired, but you know, do what I gotta do. over 20 years in Southern California. We specialize in living room furniture and can build them in styles that range from contemporary, traditional, to modern. Right now, So guys, I use my phone, uh, use the app on my phone, and I'm using my phone right now, so I'm gonna have to turn this off, but um, basically what it is, it's a, there's an app, I slide the, the indicator to on, and then I get, you know, pickups from restaurants. That's pretty much the way it works. And some restaurants, the food is already done. When you go pick up, you'll see in the app that it'll just say, you know, pick up order, and then there's some that you have to order. Um, and use the credit card that they give you and do all that. And, and then the, the, when you have to do that, you have to wait. <laughs> Obviously, because you have to put the order in and then wait. So those are the two different types of orders that you yeah, get. Yeah. And um, that's okay. what I'm doing today. So okay. I'm, in my, I'm in the car most of the day, hopping in and out. So I'm sitting here waiting for um, a delivery and sometimes it's very quick and it's really busy and sometimes it's a little bit slow. Um, some it, and Also it depends on the day. So like on the weekends it's normally pretty busy and then sometimes in the middle of the week it's pretty busy. But today it's like it was busier earlier, it's kind of slowing down and then it'll, it'll you know, it'll definitely pick up toward the evening when everyone gets off of work, they're hungry, kids are kind, they want dinner, 
and you know parents are like let's just order something so um that's what's happening right now i'm just kind of sitting here in the car just kind of waiting and taking in the beauty that's around me um and waiting for the next order so Put the order in the bag. I don't like zipping it because I like to grab it really fast, so I'll just close it up and get on my way. I'll just be on my way. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to my drop off. I just wanted you guys to see it is now <laughs> day is leaving us, it is night, and I don't like driving sometimes in the night to deliver because people don't um, come outside to meet you, you have to find them sometimes, and it's frustrating. So one of the problems is the with apartment complexes at night you can't really see the numbers really good and people want you to like deliver the food to the door and it's just aggravating when it's a big complex so right now I'm driving trying to find the building I gotta go to the other side of the complex obviously it's not on this side and yeah this is one of the things that irks me about delivery and also um i appreciate drivers more when i have to have things delivered but i don't live in a complex but you know just so that they won't have to drive all the way around if you're capable of um this is not it if you're capable of meeting them it's probably best to do that because driving around like this is really aggravating um I can't even see the numbers now. Three. Yeah, I can't see. Uh, so I'm gonna pause this video for a second and try to find these people so I can give them their food. So I just called the customer and they didn't answer. So what I'm gonna do is walk over to the area that I see where the numbers look like it may be and see if I can locate <laughs> their apartment number but um yeah so they're not answering the phone or the text message and I do not want six tacos right now <laughs> so let me just try to find them and get this food to them so I found them they got their food the building was behind another building so it wasn't accessible from the outside anyway so you had to walk but yeah <sighs> so guys i'm back in the car the guy said that his phone was off or he turned it off or whatever but i mean if you know you have a delivery coming turn your phone on but anyways i got it to the right person and now i'm leaving i'm a little bit out of breath because i had to walk around this complex which sucks and that's one of the <laughs> pitfalls of um doing this side also <laughs> but you know sometimes it's very you know it's very fun and exciting well i won't say exciting but sometimes it's pretty fun you meet a lot of different people so i am picking up at krispy kremes but i actually have to place the order first and there is a long line but you know i'm just watching them make the donuts <laughs> and uh yeah and this will probably be my last delivery of the night so that be it you guys are so so dope thank you so much for watching and continue to be unapologetically you make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on those notifications see you next time